No, Professor Cooper, I've been thinking about what you said, and I have no intention of repeating this course. Good. I'm glad you decided to take me up on my offer. Oh, I'm declining your offer, but I do want to thank you. For what? Well, thanks to you, I studied all day and all night. And whenever I felt like giving up, I would just think about what kind of man you really are, and I'd study even harder. In fact, you made me so mad, I decided to get an A on this test come hell or high water. And I think I did. I, sir, am a lady. Maybe not the smartest lady in the world, but I do know that my self-respect is more important than passing your damn course. So you, sir, can kiss my ass. Yes? Dorothy Zbornak? Yes? My name is Bert Nesbitt. I'm looking for Mario Sanchez. The school said he might be here. Yes, he... Is something wrong? I'm with the Immigration and Naturalization Service. We have reason to believe that Mario is in this country illegally. Mario? I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. Oh, it's just, it's so unfair. I can't believe it. But listen, this doesn't mean that we're going to have to give up. We're going to fight this. There are legal ways to keep you in this country, and tomorrow morning we're going to find out what they are. I have to go tomorrow. Then I'll do it myself, and we'll get you back here, I promise. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. I just feel like I don't know you anymore. I'm the same person. I always was. No, you're not. You used to be just like me. What? Great looking? Yes. Charming? Yes. Irresistible to men? <laughs> My God, Clayton, you are me. I just want to say that I would be very proud to have any one of you date my brother. I'm sitting in this bar in Nairobi when who do I see? My roommate from Harvard. <laughs> he had decided to go someplace exotic where he didn't know a soul either. <laughs> Small world, isn't it? Not from where I'm standing. Oh. <laughs> I did it again. I, I apologize. Please forgive oh, me. Oh, Blanche, I'm sure he was only joking. Don't be self-conscious about my height. I'm not. Really? Really. Look, everybody has something about themselves they'd like to change. The trick is getting beyond it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'd love to know what it feels like to be the center on the Boston Celtics. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with who I am. Oh, God, he gives me goosebumps when he talks like that. You probably don't remember me, but uh, you told me I wasn't sick. Do you remember? You told me I was just getting old. I'm sorry, I really don't remember. Maybe you're getting old. I'm sure. Well, nice seeing you. Not so fast. There are some things I have to say. There are a lot of things that I have to say. Words can't express what I have to say. What I went through, what you put me through. I can't do this in a restaurant. Good. But I will. <laughs> Lewis, who is this person? Look, miss. Sit. I sat for you long enough. <laughs> Dr. Bud, I came to you sick. Sick and scared and you dismissed me. You didn't have the answer, and instead of saying, I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with you, you made me feel crazy, like, like I had made it all up. You dismissed me. You made me feel like a, a child, a, a fool, a neurotic who was wasting your precious time. Is that, is that your caring profession? Is that healing? No one deserves that kind of treatment, Dr. Bud, no one. I suspect had I been a man, I might have been taken a little bit more seriously and not told to go to a hairdresser. Look, I am not going to sit here anymore. Shut up, Lewis. <laughs> I don't know where you doctors lose your humanity, but you lose it. You know, if all of you at the beginning of your careers could get very sick and very scared for a while, you'd probably learn more from that than anything else. You'd better start listening to your patients. They need to be heard. They need caring. They need compassion. They need attending to. You know, someday, Dr. Bud, you're going to be on the other side of the table. And as angry as I am, and as angry as I always will be, I still wish you a better doctor than you were to me. <laughs> <laughs>